yeah first of all uh, heartily congratulations to each and every one of you uh, who achieved extraordinary ranks in yesterday's result i was very very happy very delighted okay so this is the best result i had i had very good ranks in top 100 and very good to see most of the interns in top 100 it's very very wonderful and extraordinary okay very happy for each and every one of you because uh, i was getting so many calls uh, from yesterday till today, like the session was also late because I was on call because I cannot keep the phone in the middle. So very happy. Okay. So as all as always discussed with you. Okay. So whatever uh, the marks uh, that were given to you yesterday and what was the rank that is given to yesterday is just a number. Okay. And of course, we, we work so hard for this number. This number will definitely have an influence on your uh, professional aspects, but this is not only the factor which is going to decide your next part. This is this is what I was telling before the exam. Uh, I mean, before the result. Okay, so I told you. So what I told you, post exam. Okay, most important is post exam. Post exam is most important. And post result is most important. So these are most important rather than uh, the, rather than the exam, rather than the result. What you are going to do with the rank you have, what you are going to do with the marks you have. Okay, so that analysis, what you are going to choose, which college you are going to choose, which department you are going to choose, and all these are going to have a very very big impact on you. There were few calls, a few messages, calls. I tried my best to attend almost all, but few messages I have not responded till the time. Uh, the main reason is I was not feeling uh, well from past three to four days. I was being to interactions for two or three colleges after your examination. Then I got flu fever. So I'm not feeling well even. I'm not so comfortable to take this live, but I'm getting so many calls from the students and uh, so many calls from the parents lots of things are happening in the last uh, 24 hours so i feel like i should come live so that i can address few important and most commonly asked uh, areas so that most of your doubts will be clear so that you you will not get tensed your parents will not uh, have that app apprehension after the result and everything so that uh, i want every one of you uh, i want you to make more comfortable because you should know few things uh, before you ask few things to me okay so parents were calling me and asking asking me questions which i cannot really address so that is the reason why i have taken this uh, call of uh, uh, coming in front of you in live and discussing very few important aspects related to the counseling and related to the re-preparation and all these aspects guys my energy levels are low uh, that is the reason why i had few energy drinks to be active for this uh, 40 45 minutes I want energy from your side. Okay, how many are active guys? Are you active? You should motivate me now. I'm very weak. Okay, so whatever it is, it is happened. Okay, uh, most of you are calling me about restarting the preparation, reappearing for the exam. Few of you were crying on phone. I tried my best, okay, in handling you this uh, difficult situation. Few of you are very excited with their success, happy with their uh, result. Parents are calling me, appreciating me, appreciating the team, hard work, and everything. It's, it's good side. Like when you're when you're on other side of the coin, that is the happiest side of the coin. Yes, it's going to be so comfortable for me to handle. But you are on other side of the coin, like. Your, your your performance in the examination was not up to expectation or on the day of result you are not very comfortable with the result okay uh, because you hopes you you expected something to happen but the result was on other side so it's going to be difficult uh, as a mentor to handle such situation but i'm more inclined to help the people who are on uh, who are on the negative side of the coin rather than the positive side of the coin so this session is basically for all those people okay so i just want to address few important issues that regularly happens post result okay so in this particular session the first and foremost important thing is 
first is the first biggest question is are you happy with your preparation you you i want you to answer your you to answer this questions are you are you happy with your preparation whatever preparation you have done are you happy question number 1 second one how much you are going to rate your preparation rate out of 10 how much you are going to rate your preparation out of 10 okay so these are the two important questions you have to answer yourself the next comes you were allocated uh, in the neat uh, mds result yesterday with a rank right with a rank and a result yes you may be happy with your performance but you may not get a rank which really achieves something in the counseling okay so then you have to check your rank and result okay so i'm just going to give a rough idea okay uh, maybe in general i'm going to tell you uh, maybe specific inclined to a particular state it may vary okay results uh, there were few students like checking the allotment list of last year no the, the, the comparison may not work okay the competition levels of last year will be different and this year will be different the seat matrix of last year will be different and this year will be different seat matrix of all india will be different and this year all india will be different seat matrix of individual state will also vary so you cannot compare the last year statistics to this year statistics that is going to be impossible but we can come to a rough conclusion what is that rough conclusion so now i'll talk about counselings before i talk about before i decide or before i judge your ranks guys are you ready i'll tell you how the counselling overall counselings how the counselings will takes place and all these things these are very very important okay so so coming to the counselling part so you have something called as 50% air all india okay so they are going to release 50 percentage all india rank okay whatever you get is almost a 50 percentage all india rank so you will have this 50 percentage all india pool you'll have this 50 percentage all india pool right so in this 50 percentage all india pool there will be two category of seats that are included category number one is all government dental college seats so throughout the country, all the government dental college seats means 50% of all the dental college seats will be included in this pool. That is, <laughs> sorry, <clears throat> that is if it is GDC Hyderabad, you take one college, GDC Hyderabad is an example. If GDC Hyderabad, okay, in a particular department, you have a particular number of seats, half of the seats will be going to all India pool. So, for example, GD, GDC Hyderabad, the entire department has example. I'm telling example to make it more comfortable. Four seats are there. Two seats will be in state pool. Two seats will be in all India pool. These two seats in the all India pool will be going to this pool. So, this all India pool seats will be filled through the counseling. And the second category of seats which are going to fill through all India counseling is deemed colleges. So deemed colleges means, you know, you know that deemed colleges like Sabita Deem, SRM Deemed College, JSS Mysore and all these deemed colleges seats will be. So this counseling is called as All India Counseling. So first notification that you are going to get probably is All India Counseling and All India Counseling is going to contain two types of seats. Type 1 seats is Government Dental College seats. That is 50 percentage of all government dental college seats because 50 percentage will be filled by all India and 50 percentage will be filled by state pool. Respective state will fill the 50 percentage seats. And the second type of seats that are filled by all India pool is deemed college seats. There are few deemed colleges, not all the deemed colleges. There are few deemed colleges like deemed colleges like Sabita and all these like deemed colleges, which are again going to fill their seats through all India pool. So this counseling is called as all India counseling and most probably this is the first counseling that is going to occur is it clear first notification preferably is going to be all india all india two types of seats are filled by all india one is government dental college seats second one is deemed deemed college seats guys are you clear i need your response okay so sir uh, i got a rank 
can i can i apply for all india anyone can apply for all india who has qualified but simply if you come out with rank 5000 6000 sir i want a gdc no not possible okay you can apply but you will you will not get a seat that is a waste of time and waste of money be logical right so most probably i strongly recommend students okay if you are from open category doesn't have any reservation till 500 600 you can apply all india normally 1000 1000 rank 800 900 also sometimes apply basing upon their convenience but strongly probably uh, it never it never crosses 500 for sure okay so you you basing upon your convenience you decide like you you coming out with 10000 ranks i, I want to apply all india you can apply but it's waste of money 100 percentage you will not get a seat through all india because all india has very less number of government and you call it seats deemed if you are targeting for deemed college yes 10000 rank you can apply you can apply your rank is 8000 you will not get a gdc but you can get a deemed college through all india and guys the most important aspect i want to mention about deemed colleges can you know what is the fees of a deemed college can anyone tell me what is the fees of deemed college the minimum fees of a deemed college yes it starts from minimum 8 lakhs 8 lakhs to 17 lakhs per annum so check your convenience talk with your parents if you are financially sound then you can proceed everyone cannot be on the same range right for example my range is not deemed my range is not even private college when i was uh, entering into mds 2 to 3 lakhs is also very impossible for my family to pay the fees okay so basing upon your financial limitations you can play because Uh, what is the rank on college yaar what is rank on college in india recent uh, rank list was released right what is the rank on college yes the sabita comes under all india the fees is going to be 15 to 17 lakhs per annum okay so if you want you can go there but financially you should be strong in handling the situation right so this is the first counseling so once this counseling is started then slowly individual states okay states you for example your telangana state your andhra state okay your maharashtra state your tamil nadu state your kerala set your orissa your up your bihar west bengal okay and all these states all the states okay all the states all the states are going to release their individual state notification okay so your jammu and kashmir right so jammu and kashmir and all these are going to release their individual notifications what is this notification is for this notification is for the 50 percentage left over gdcs because 50 percentage they have given to all india pool so they have left over 50 percentage of seats so this is for the 50 percentage seats then this is again for the left over private college seats so the category of these private college seats varies from uh, uh, state to state for example you take andhra telangana uh, you you have a, a two or three category of seats here the quality of education is same but uh, the category of seats varies basing upon the merit of the student the category of seats varies basing upon the amount of the fees that the student has to pay for example you take a few states they have categories like a b c a b c simple words is a is more merit b is semi merit c is like a management quota the fees will be less for a category medium for a b category and it will be more for a c category similarly like you take your uh, karnataka karnataka also you have something called as k set seats k set seats will be of less cost somewhere around like 2.5 lakhs whereas coming to the leftover seats will be of more cost more than 6 or more than 7 or more than 8 lakhs per annum okay you got a clarity right so next is individual state so as individual state is going to release a notification every state has a rules and regulations so you can come and ask me for example uh, you are from jammu and kashmir and you want to take seat in telangana you cannot take an a category seat in telangana okay the low cost seats will be only for the local elites for example there are something called as k set seats in karnataka 
KSET seats in Karnataka will be for the localites, not for the non-localites. Okay, so most of the seats in the state pool will be handled or will be given to only localites. There are few states which are going to give seats to the non-localites also. Those states, one is Karnataka, second one is Maharashtra, third one is Andhra Pradesh, fourth one is Telangana. There are few seats they are allocating, not all the seats. And preferably most of the seats which are allocating the uh, uh, pool, I mean like non-local seats to other state people, they may not be very good. Okay, they may not be of good department. They may not be of good college in majority of the situation, according to the reviews of the students and according to old analysis. Okay, so are you clear till this point about the counseling? First counseling is All India counseling, where 50 percentage of All India pool seats will be filled. Second one, the deemed college seats will be filled. Then individually, your state is going to release a notification. For that notification, you have to apply first then your state merit list will come. Your state merit list, then your state merit list will come. Sometimes you take Telangana, you take Andhra, okay, there is a separate application for A category and there is a separate application for B category. So A category, you have to keep a separate application and B category and C category together, you have to keep a separate application. These are all things like once the notification is out, Probably most of the information will be shared on your respective groups. There is no need to worry about it. Okay. But this is how the state counseling proceeds. So all India counseling, preferably you will have round one, round two, round three. State counseling, you will have again round one, round two, round three. For example, you take Telangana and Andhra. I told Telangana and Andhra will have A category separate and B category separate. Means A category, one, two, three rounds will be there. B category, one, two, three rounds will be there. For example, all the seats are filled by second round. They'll close it by second round. If it is not filled, then they will push themselves to third round. <laughs> Clear, friends? I don't know when the counsel.